Congratulations on the new Worcester location. Can you tell me some things that you're looking forward to about that new location? Well, I'm really excited to bring AP Durham's patient-centered care to Worcester. We try to meet patients where they are, and I'm looking forward to meeting our new patients in Worcester. Great. Can you tell me a little bit about your practice? I've been practicing dermatology for over 14 years. I have specialty training in skin cancer surgery, and mostly now I have a surgical practice of taking care of skin cancers and removing other growths on the skin. Great. Can you tell us a little bit about Mohs surgery? What exactly does that entail? Mohs surgery is a specialized technique for removing skin cancers, predominantly in cosmetically and functionally sensitive areas. It's also used for removing aggressive skin cancers, mostly basal cell and squamous cell skin cancer. Mohs involves coming in and removing the area, but waiting while we check the edges in the lab to see if everything's removed. If it's not, I take some more and we check it again and we go back and forth till the skin cancer is removed. The average is to go twice. Sometimes it's once, sometimes it's three or four times. Once the cancer is gone, the next step is the reconstruction of the area with stitches to do a nice cosmetic or functional job for each patient. Great. Can you tell me when I should see a doctor about a spot that I think is worrisome? Well, any spot that catches your attention or a loved one's attention should be looked at either by your primary doctor or by a dermatologist. Some of the warning signs for concerning spots, when we think about brown spots, if they're irregular, if they have different colors in them, if their shape is unusual, if they're changing, if they're getting bigger, that's a reason to get them looked at. Other spots, sometimes local skin cancers, can bleed, grow, be painful, be itchy. Any spot that meets any, any of those uh, categories ought to get looked at. Great, thank you. So, and what do you do in your spare time to have fun? Uh, I love being outdoors, uh, playing tennis, exercising, hiking, spending time with my family, reading. You know, now we can see people again a little bit in person, mostly outdoors. Great. Thank you so much.